the oil, and soon we'll have a lovely sponge cake. Hmm, it's getting dark outside. Maybe I should call the girls inside from playing. Oh, that was so fun. Did you see that big pile of leaves we made and we jumped into it? Oh, that was so fun. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> oh, girls, how was playing outside? I'm sure you have lots of fun with all the leaves your dad raked up. It was so cold outside. My legs are so chilly. Ooh. Really? I'm so toasty. Well, Elsie, I did tell you to wear a hat. No wonder you're so cold. Go warm up by the fire and I'm sure you'll be toasty in no time. I do have a cake baking. Cake? Yes. Mm, I really need some warm, soft, fluffy cake. Okay, let's go, Ani. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh. I'm glad you're feeling toasty, but I'm not really feeling any of the heat. I don't want to get too close to it. Remember that accident with Olaf? Yeah, we don't oh. want that to happen. Yeah. Girls, tea time! Oh, let's oh, go. yes! Some warming tea. <laughs> Elsie, are you feeling much warmer now? I'm glad you went and sat by the fire. <laughs> Not really. I feel really cold. Let me have my sandwich. Maybe that will... <laughs> oh, Elsie, you're sneezing a lot. Maybe you should go grab a tissue. Oh, wow, Elsie, you're very hot. You might have a temperature. Yeah, I do feel kind of warm. Oh. You know what? Why don't you go get in your pajamas and I'll make you some freshly squeezed vitamin C orange juice, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go lie down. I'm still feeling so chilly. I need to wrap up. Oh, and the heating's on. The radiators are all warm. Hmm, I think it's just my body temperature. <coughs> I'm definitely caught a cold. I have to wear my hat and my scarf next time I go out. Oh, making sure all my boo-boo coins are nice. There's Leo and my favorite Tara. Oh, I love these. <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed with my favorite toys. Now I'm ready for bed and I can play with my toys. Okay, Leo, you're definitely coming with me. Oh, Elsie, you don't look too good. Mm, yeah, and you still have your temperature. You know when you're sick, you like to sprawl out. You don't have much room in this bed. Let me push yours and Ani's beds together. You get into your pajamas and I'll do it, okay? <coughs> okay, Mommy. <laughs> what? My bed? But, but that, that, that's where I sleep. We don't want you to get sick as well, Ani. You know, it's not good if you're both sick. Okay, so basically you're going to sleep on the couch tonight. Don't worry, we'll make it all comfy and I'm going to push this bed together with Elsie's, okay? So you go get snuggly on the couch, Ani. Anna will set that up for you, all right? Oh. Okay. And if you don't mind, I might take your boo-boo corn and give it to Elsie so she's something to entertain her. You know what I mean? Because I don't really want her to be on devices when she's sick. Okay, thank you so much, Ani. You're so good. What? My boo-boo corns? Aww. Well, you're definitely not right at the moment and your temperature is high, but if you're still not feeling better in the morning, we'll bring you a doctor, okay? Here's your orange juice. Give you some vitamin C. Yeah, here's the orange juice. Actually, maybe since your temperature is very high, I'm just gonna bring you some medicine just for tonight. Okay, now just have one little gulp of this. Open wide. Uh, there you go. It's strawberry flavor, so it doesn't. Get yeah, that actually tastes really yummy. <laughs> I hope it makes me feel better. It will. Don't worry. Just for tonight, so you, so you can have a nice sound sleep. And don't worry about tomorrow if you can't make it to school. Okay, thank you so much, Auntie Anna. Love you. Love you. Good night. I just can't get comfy in here. Oh, well, I know I don't want to get sick, but I want to be in my own bed. I feel bad for Elsie, but this is just not comfy. Good morning, Elsie. How do you feel? <coughs> not much better. Oh, I don't think I can go to school. I feel really warm and I just want to go to sleep. <coughs> oh, you do not sound right at all. Don't worry. You don't have to go to school at all, Elsie. You're going to stay here. You're going to rest. I'm going to bring you some hot tea and I'm going to call for the doctor. She should be here in about an hour or so. Okay. Love you, honey. Now get some rest. Okay. Thanks, Mom. Okay, Ani, come on, you gotta get up. You don't want to be late for school. Breakfast is what, on the table. What, what? School? Well, why do I have to go to school? Elsie doesn't. Well, Elsie's very sick, Ani, and you are in perfectly good health. So I want you out and ready for school in 15 minutes. Okay, come on, chop, chop. Oh. Oh. My bag for school. How are 
are you? Uh, I feel really sick. <laughs> have a great time at school. Remember, we have a maths test today. So tell me how it went, okay? What? We have a maths test? Thanks, Elsie. And enjoy staying in a warm, cozy bed. Bye. Bye. Okay, so basically you have nothing to worry about. All Elsie has is a case of the seasonal flu. She's still gonna be a little tired and feeling a little sick, but it's nothing serious. If you dose her with this medicine for three times a day, morning, middle of the day, and night, for the next week or, you know, next week and a half, she will be as right as rain very soon. You're gonna be okay, Elsie, don't worry. <coughs> okay, thank you. Ugh. Thank you so much, Dr. Lily, for coming around. I really appreciate this. No problem at all. She should be just fine. It's just remember when she's going on future. You gotta wear your hat and your scarf, Elsie, okay? Mom said you weren't listening. Yeah, I will from now on. <laughs> okay, good girl. I'll see you soon, Elsa. Okay, bye now. Bye, thank you so much. Are you feeling better, Elsie? Well, I'm not really feeling better, but I'm glad we have some medicine now. Yes, and the right medicine. I bought you some magazines for you to look through, and if you don't like these, I can get you a couple books, okay? Okay, Mommy. Okay, here they are. These are your favorite. You'll really like them. If you need anything, just tell me. I'm home. Okay, that's Ani. I'm just going to check out how she is, okay? Okay. Oh, no sandwiches. Hi, Ani. How are you? How was school? Fine. I think I did pretty well in the maths test, actually. But we have so much homework. Do you think that we should bring Elsie her homework? Oh, no. Elsie's very sick. I'd wait for her to catch up next weekend. Okay. So eat up your sandwich and then maybe go talk to Elsie. I think she's feeling a little bit lonely. Okay. All right. Oh, no, I was just thinking you should... Okay, good idea. Nice. You're so Stay lucky here. about magazines. Oh, oh never done. You're reading one, too, Ani. Oh. Oh, I love this purse. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Elsie, someone sent you a gift. Isn't that so nice? Wow, a gift. Who's it from? Actually, I haven't checked yet. I'm sure it's in the card. Thank you so much, Auntie Anna. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just going to go make some dinner now. Actually, I was calling you a couple times. I was really thirsty. Could you get me a glass of water? Oh, of course. We'll have to get you something so we can hear you next time. Okay. Hmm, a gift. I wonder who it's from. Let me open it. Oh, I wonder what's inside. <gasps> it's a box of chocolates and a card. That's oh. so nice. The card says get better soon. Oh my goodness, Elsie. You're so lucky you're getting chocolates. Who's it from? Hmm, it says, dear Elsie, hope you feel better soon. XOXO. There isn't any name. Maybe. Elsie. Maybe you must have a secret it. admirer. What if it's Paul? I bet it's Paul. <gasps> Imagine if Paul sent me chocolates, but he hasn't been paying much attention to me these past days. <gasps> Maybe it was Timmy. <gasps> Maybe it was Chris Jr. <laughs> no way. Ooh, I cannot believe he would send. He would not send me something like that. He does not like me. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, wonder. I know, and it was so cool, and it was oh like, goodness, goodness. yeah. <laughs> okay, Elsie, I brought you a bell, so if you need anything, just ring it, and we will come right to your service. And, Ani, I think you can help out with that, because Elsa's doing the dinner, and I really need to clean the kitchen. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you so much, Auntie Anna. You okay. can just leave it on the bedside table. I can reach it from there. Elsie, just before I go, would you like any chicken broth or anything to eat? You know, you have to eat at some point. You haven't eaten anything since breakfast. I'm actually not really hungry, Auntie Anna. But you have to eat something, Elsie. Uh, okay, maybe I will in half an hour. How does that sound? Okay, perfect, but you have to eat it, okay? Okay, thank you. Here, Elsie, I'll be back in a minute. I just have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Uh, where is Ani? Ani! Ani! I'm actually feeling hungry. Could you bring me a big bowl of chicken broth, please? Mommy just asked you like five minutes ago. How are you suddenly so hungry? Well, when I'm sick, your taste changes. I wasn't hungry then, but I'm really hungry now. Could you get it for me, pretty please? Okay, Elsie. Don't spill any. Got it. Oh, and put it on the bed. Drop down. 
Thank you so much, Ani. Mmm, looks delicious. And the sandwich. Oh, you didn't have to. You're welcome. Oh, I hope she comes soon. Huh. Uh, yes, Elsie? Sorry, I'm just really craving a peach and strawberry smoothie with my broth and my sandwich. Peach you know. and strawberry? Yeah, it's not <laughs> too difficult. Just pop in a blender with some oat milk and some sweetener and some vanilla. I really like cocoa nibs in mine as well. There should be some in the top rest, I think. Not hard? Elsa, oh, so I don't even know if we have peaches. Would uh, strawberry and banana work? Oh, perfect. Just don't forget the cocoa nibs. <laughs> Cocoa nibs? What even are these? Oh, she is the best cousin. <laughs> okay, here's your peach, banana, cocoa nibs, coconut oil, and oat milk sm smoothie. Uh, what are you ringing the bell for? I got your smoothie. Oh, I just really need some <laughs> some tissues. I'm sneezing a lot. Uh, okay. Uh, here you go, Elsie. Thank you. I'm going to keep the bell on hand just in case I might need anything else. You know, some extra coconut shavings on my smoothie or anything. Coconut shavings? Okay. <laughs> You're the best, Ani. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Who could ask for more? Coconut shavings? Cocoa nibs? Okay, here's the tea. Why'd you need two cups? Well, one is for me and one is for my teddy, Leo. Your teddy? Okay, Elsie. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that dinner was delicious. Uh, yeah. First of all, thank you so much, Ani, for the delicious food, and this smoothie is top-notch. Although, you want a little light on the cocoa nibs. They're the best part. You need to put more next time. Fine. Okay, and uh, I really would need a bigger pillow. I mean, I'm not feeling some neck support. Could you get me one, please? Okay, Elsie. Okay, and I brought your pillow. Oh, that is far too big, Ani. No, 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 I'm gonna need a smaller one than that. I'm not an ogre. <laughs> Are you feeling any better, though? Um, a little bit, just a small bit. Small bit? That's what I get for all my hard work. Okay, I brought you a smaller pillow. Oh, well, I'm not a mouse, am I? <laughs> That's so tiny. No, 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 something not as big as the other one, but definitely not as small as that. Can you look again, please? Please? Of course, Elsie. <gasps> this better be good enough, because I am not going yet. This, <gasps> Ani, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, just the right size and super fluffy. The color doesn't exactly match my bedroom. Elsie, it doesn't matter about the color. It matters if it works or not. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Ani. Actually, on your way out, could you take the dirty dishes and the tissues? I didn't really use them. Didn't use the tissues? And, you brought, and I brought them anyways. Fine. Oh, she is just so great. Every single time I've brought something, yes, she said thank you, fine. She's always been asking me for more, more, more. Oh, I am so sick of this. But I guess if I was sick, she would have done the same for me. And, you know, maybe I should have went a little bit more on those cocoa nibs. It is the best part. You know, I should really be better. I'm going to go apologize to her now. Hey, Elsie? Uh, yeah. I'm really sorry. I was being rude and selfish. And you know what? I should have been looking after you more properly. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't mind. You've actually been so amazing. And I'm so grateful for you to getting me all this stuff. I am actually starting to feel better. And you know what? Sometimes the smoothie with less of coconut lets you get the real flavor of the strawberry. You're the best, Ani. Well, I guess I do have my expertise in smoothies. And you know what? I'm feeling better. So we can have some of the chocolates now. I wonder who they're from. I hope Paul comes and visits me. Yeah, that's a great idea. But I bet Paul is gonna come any minute now. Elsie, your dad's home. Elsie, how are you? I heard you were feeling sick and I sent you those chocolates. Are you feeling better? Did you get my card? It was you who sent the card of the chocolates? Uh, yeah? Are they bad? Did you not like them? Uh, uh, no! <laughs> They were the nicest gift I've ever gotten and so lovely. Thank you so much, Daddy. <laughs> no problem, honey. You need to get your rest. If you need anything, let me know. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay. <gasps> oh, no. I thought it was Paul. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't Paul? Was it Chris? No, Daddy sent them to me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I it is kind it. of funny. But now that I'm feeling better, we can eat them. Ooh, I want the hazelnut one. Yeah, I want the caramel one. <laughs> Watch our other fun videos.